This new height, portrayed at the 14th edition of Asia's largest aerospace and defense exhibition, Aero India 2023, is being seen as the potential of the new India toward air defense capabilities. The theme of the exhibition, The Runway to a Billion Opportunities, highlights the importance of India's growing capabilities and is in line with the Atmanirbhar Bharat and Make in India, Make for the World campaign, particularly in the field of aerospace. Aero India was the largest aerospace exhibition, said Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, with the 5,000 square meters of display space as compared to the 23,000 square meters of display space of the previous one. Referring to the Defence Minister's conclave and the CEO roundtable that was organized along with the show, it was said that the active participation of all in the defence sector will enhance the potential of Aero India. The CEO roundtable saw participation from officials, delegates and global CEOs from 26 countries, including global investors such as Boeing, Lockheed, Israel Aerospace Industries, General Atomics, the Liberia Group, Raytheon Technologies, Safran and General Authority of Military Industries, that is the GAMI. About 800 exhibitors attended the exhibition compared to the 540 at the previous event, with 110 exhibitors of foreign origin. When the country moves forward with new thinking, new approach, then its systems also start changing according to the new thinking, Prime Minister said as he highlighted that Aero India 2023 reflects the changing approach toward air defense of New India. The highlights of the event, Aero India, were the first public display of DRDO's Tapas BH, that is the Tactical Aerial Platform for Advanced System Surveillance Beyond Horizon, and the Medium Altitude Long Endurance, MALE, Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, that is UAV. The Tapas UAV will be the main reconnaissance and surveillance platform for all the three armed services and will have a payload capacity of 350 kilograms. It will also be able to fly at an altitude of 28,000 feet for over 18 hours. Defense Research and Development Organization, that is the DRDO, also showcased frontline combat aircraft like India's first fifth generation aircraft, the AMCA, that is the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, Light Combat Aircraft, LCA Tejas, Tejas MK2, the EDBF, and Autonomous Stealth Flying Wing Test Bed. The DRDO Pavilion, comprised of over 330 products, categorized into 12 zones, including Combat aircrafts and UAVs, missiles and strategic systems, engines and propulsion systems, airborne surveillance systems, and sensors for electronic warfare and communication systems. Missiles like Astra, Akash, QRSAM, NAG, Helena, Prale were also displayed in the DRDO pavilion. Further, the DRDO's participation in the mega show was marked by the flight displays of LCA Tejas, LCA Tejas PV-6, Netra AEWNC, that is the Aerial Early Warning and Control System, and Tapas UAV, according to Defence Ministry release. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, that, that is the HAL, for the first time had displayed to the public HLFT-42, that is the Hindustan Leaden Fighter Trainer. It is a single-engine supersonic fighter trainer which will be able to train fighter pilots in highly complex air warfare techniques while saving precious airframe life on advanced platforms like Su-30, MKI and Dassault Rafale. HAL has revealed posters of Kiran optionally manned combat aircraft, that is the OMCA, which will be used to lure at enemy air defences. Various other defence public sector undertakings, DPSUs like BEL and BHEL, were also represented to show their products to the public. India's private defence and aerospace manufacturing companies like Lawson & Turbo, that is L&T, Harith Forge and Adani Defence were present at the prestigious event as well. Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Dassault, General Atomics and other international manufacturers had presented their fighter jets in hopes of securing orders from the Indian Ministry of Defence.